Hey guys, I'm back with another Studio One Two video. This is going to be on the pool browser. I had a subscriber request that I put up a video on how to use the pool browser. About nine months ago, I did a video on how to remove unused files from a song. And I use a technique where you created a new folder for that particular song, and during that process, you were asked if you wanted to remove the unused files, which click a button and it was done. I believe that was the way it was done before release 2 and the pool browser because now there's a capability that makes it much simpler. I'm going to show you that in a second. Before you do anything though with files, deleting files, make sure you back your files up. Okay. What I do is I have Mosey, 50 bucks a year, 50 gig backup. Every night it backs up not only my you know personal files but also all my Studio One files, so just in case you delete something you need, it's there. And I've used it a couple of times, believe it or not. So it's worth every penny of the $50. So basically, let's take a look at uh, the browser. So you've got your standard browser. Let me open this window a little bit more. Your standard browser here, we're looking at uh, instruments. You can look at effects, sounds. This is all, if you're using Studio One, this is pretty familiar. Files, if you want to get into your, uh, your Windows uh, file or hierarchy. And then you've got this button called Pool. So I click on that, and if you look, you'll see every one of your Studio One event files, audio files, for this particular project. And I can look at this by in a flat uh, manner, which shows me all of them, by track. Which, if you look here, it's actually organized each take by track. Okay, and these are actually, this is actually multiple takes. Okay, And then I could take a look at it by type. Right now, the only type I have here is audio. Okay. And then, or location, if I want to find out where a file is, and then I can look at it, look at it by by take number. So if I actually knew that take five was the one I wanted, and I want to go back to that, I can easily get to that take and take a look at it. There's other ways to do that within Studio One too, as well. But uh, again, this is just a way to to see which physically where where each take is. The other thing I can do with this uh, capability is I can actually play one of these sounds. So if I just double, if I click on that, you'll see the the player comes up here, and I just click play or just double click on there. But I'll just click the play button. Okay, and you can hear there's there's the actual the actual track. Okay, so and so if you want to go and, and listen to a particular um, take, you can certainly do that. Pretty easy to do. So that's how to use the browser. Not much else really to it the pool browser but it's it's pretty functional so let's talk about how to remove unused files so I'll go back to the flat um, view here and all I need to do and as you know as you as you record with studio one you build up multiple takes and there's a lot of files that are just unused by the project and I don't recommend doing this while you're using while you're actually recording and in the middle of doing your project but at the end when you know everything's done you're not gonna need any of the, of the unused takes etc I always like to do it to just keep this space cleaned up. So um, what you do here, again, make sure you're backed up, but uh, hit hit the, the right mouse key uh, while you're hovering over the uh, over one of these tabs. Either one is, any one of them is fine. And just click Remove Unused File. And just say Yes. And you can see two-thirds of the files are, go are now gone. So what that basically did was it went through Studio One and it figured out which takes were used in this and which takes were not used and just and it enables you to free up disk space pretty simple but very effective so you can replace the old video with this one uh, and uh, I'm gonna actually put an annotation on the old one to direct you here because this is really a much easier way to remove all your unused files I hope that was helpful thanks for watching please uh, comment and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see and if you have any suggestions for future videos. I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching.